The sun has already set and yet I'm still sitting in front of a window. And then at the very end when the vape vapor, not a word. Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So, if you have been watching my vlogs, <laughs> then you would know that I am in a vocal class at school. And so, um, at the end of the semester, I believe, um, we're probably going to be doing like a musical, not like a big musical like in music theater, but just kind of like as a final project, I guess. And so our teacher was asking us like what musicals we wanted to do and stuff like that. And one of my friends said that she really loved Into the Woods. And then so our teacher was saying that we might do that one. And so I always heard about Into the Woods. I always knew the gist of it, that it was a bunch of like fairy tales smushed together. Um, but I'd never watched it. And so on... Saturday night slash Sunday morning, I decided I'd watch it on my computer. And this is what I think. So I think it's kind of unfair because I had such high expectations going in because of how amazing my friend said it was. And it wasn't a bad movie. It's just like, you know when your expectations are here and then it ends up being here and it's like, it's not bad but it's not as good as you thought it was gonna be so in comparison it's bad yeah so <laughs> by the way if you've never seen into the woods the movie or the play then you might not want to watch this video because there's gonna be a lot of spoilers so let's start so one thing that really bugged me is that there was a lot of under acting like you know the part in the movie where their stepsisters are trying to fit their foot into the shoe so then their mother's like uh, to one of the sisters cut off your toe and then to the other sister that she should cut off part of her heel so that they can fit the slipper like when they did it like if someone just like amputated your toe you wouldn't just like bite your lip and then just like walk down the stairs and hop on the back of a horse like no you'd be like screaming and in like excruciating pain but they're just like oh we're just gonna like bite our lip and not scream like no that's unrealistic like i'm sorry but like no i know it's a disney film and it's meant for children but older people are gonna watch it too because one if it's your child you're gonna watch the movie with them so as an adult you're gonna see it and also even if you're like me and you're a teenager, you probably grew up with Disney movies, meaning you're gonna want to watch this mashup of like all your favorite Disney classics, you know what I mean? So yeah, unrealistic. Another thing that was kind of underacted was like when people died, people didn't even react. Like when the bigger's wife died, like the words he said were like, oh I'm sad, like she's like my rock and all that stuff. But then like five minutes later, he's not over it, but like he's not like as sad anymore. Like I don't know how to explain it, it just, that's not the way that one would grieve if your wife just fell off a cliff. You know what I mean? And then another form of underacting was when Cinderella's prince cheated on her with the baker's wife and then like the birds saw it happening so when the birds flew back to Cinderella and told her she was just like oh yeah cool like it doesn't really matter and then she just kind of moved on and then later on in the movie maybe like 10 minutes after that um Cinderella and the prince are talking and then she's like oh I know what happened the birds told me blah 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 and then he's all like I was raised to be charming not sincere and then he's like I'll always love the girl who ran away or something like that and then she was like and I'll always love the faraway prince and I'm like you got married that afternoon like this is like four hours after their marriage <laughs> and you're just like oh no it's cool like I, I I will always love you, but like, let's part ways. Like, no, you got married that same day. How are you already okay with it? Like, I, I don't understand at all. What? Also, one thing that really bugged me, and I know that the story takes place over the span of, I think, three or four days, so it's not a long time. 
but one thing that bothered me so much and I don't know why but like you know how the baker and his wife were like in the woods trying to find the four ingredients so that the witch could make the potion and then give them a child yeah so then after they bring the witch all the ingredients the baker's wife just like becomes like nine months pregnant and then the next day they have their child I'm like wait a second no that's not how it works I'm sorry and then this last thing it wasn't like a loose end but like it seemed inconclusive so you know how the witch locked Rapunzel in a tower and then um, the witch blinds the prince and then Rapunzel heals him with her magic tears and then so after that the witch has become young again and so she goes to see Rapunzel and Rapunzel doesn't recognize her at first and then she realizes that it's her mother and then Rapunzel says that she never wants to see her again and then she rides off on a horse with her prince but then like Rapunzel's prince and Rapunzel are not in the movie after that so I'm like what happened to them after that like did they at least live happily ever after like no one else in that film lived happily ever after but the last we saw of them they were happy so did that last I would like to know can you tell me it like it, it does it did I miss it? Is it in the movie? And I'm just not aware. But last time I checked, the last time I saw them, they were riding off, not into the sunset, but like they were riding away. And then there was just, like their names were never even mentioned again after that. And I'm just like, well, what happened to your relationship? I'd kind of like to know. And this is one last thing that isn't necessarily bad but it's not necessarily good. Like, have you ever, like, watched a movie or a show or, like, a series finale, like, like, the ending of something, but then you don't know how to feel at the end? Like, you don't know what emotion you're supposed to feel? Like, has that ever happened to you? Like, at the end of Into the Woods, I didn't know how to feel. Like, about three quarters of the way through the movie, that's when everyone has their happy ending but in reality it's not the end and then everything goes awry and then it kind of ends happy but doesn't because like Cinderella no longer has a prince Little Red Riding Hood and Jack no longer have parents and the baker no longer has his wife but then the movie ends with the baker telling his like newborn baby a story basically the story of what just happened over the past four days and then the sun is rising like making it brighter because through the whole scene like at the end where they were like killing the giant and a bunch of people die and all that stuff like it was dark it was at nighttime it was like the third night or something and then at the very end when the babe vapor not a word when the baker <laughs> is telling his baby a story the sun starts rising so it's like it's supposed to give that feeling of like a new day a fresh start happiness but then again four seconds prior you come to the realization that like half the people are dead so it's like how do you feel like four minutes ago oh my gosh we no longer have parents can we live with you and then now four minutes later He's telling a happy story about his wife and then the sun is rising. Like, how am I supposed to feel? Am I supposed to be sad or am I supposed to be happy? What emotion am I supposed to feel? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't like movies that don't give me a feeling. Like, it's not that I don't feel anything, but it's not that I don't feel good or I don't feel bad. I have a feeling I just can't physically identify it and that makes me uneasy I can't is that just me that can't be just me 
Anyway, so those are just some of my thoughts on Into the Woods. There's probably more, but I can't think of them right now. It wasn't a bad movie. As I said at the beginning, I just had really high expectations for it because everything I ever heard about it was positive. And it wasn't that the movie was negative. It wasn't like, oh, like they hired people who couldn't sing for a musical or something like that like it wasn't like that it was a good movie it just wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be and then the ending just left me with the feeling of unfeeling I don't I don't even know anyway <laughs> um that's all for this week's video I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up all my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday if you would like to see more of me subscribe to my vlog channel because I upload there every day and I'll see you on this channel next Monday One more thing, I forgot to say it before, so now I'm standing really close to the camera. You know the song Agony, the song that the two princes sang? I didn't know that it was from that movie. I heard it in a vine like three years ago. So when I was watching it and I heard that song, like when I heard the chorus, like the agony part, like when they sing that word, I paused it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is where it's from. And I just had like a revelation moment. And I felt the need to tell you that, so... Yeah.